nine months old today. Good morning, bedhead. <laughs> I know, you're cute. Do you want that back? I can't believe you're nine months old today. I know, we gotta get up and get dressed. It's early. Man, moms that work out of the house, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> We're up early because she has a doctor's appointment this morning and I'm not used to putting my face on before like 10 o'clock. So I think I've gotten really used to not having to set an alarm and get up and get ready right away. So to those of you who get up and get your kids ready and get yourself ready and get to work, kudos because this is <laughs> this is rough. Wow, we actually made it out of the house in time. <laughs> I told myself five to ten minutes earlier than we actually needed to leave because I seem to always run late getting everything ready and packed up and it worked so we are actually doing well on time and uh, we are almost to the hospital now I'm glad that she does not have to have shots praise the Lord without Nellie being here I would just have such a hard time watching her get shots and not having someone to, <laughs> to hold my hand and be sad with so there are no nine month shots, praise the Lord. Her next shots will not be until 12 months. So still have a little while for that. Usually I have reinforcements with Nellie here and so we can like pass her back and forth. We can both make sure she's not gonna roll off the table while the doctor's checking her, especially now with as mobile as she is. So I'm gonna have to be all hands on deck, which means I probably won't record while the doctor's in there. I'll just tell you guys about it after it's um, finished, so. Let's go. You're done, little lady. She's loaded back in her stroller. She is 18.54 pounds, 46th percentile, 26.87 inches, 28th percentile, and her head is 78. I think last time her weight was in the 25th percentile, so it's gone up a little bit, but she still said everything is perfect. She's not spiked on her growth chart. And I think last time her height was in like the 70 something percentile. So she, these two have switched. <laughs> You're a perfect little angel, baby. Okay, we're gonna go, she's done. Okay, Everly is napping. That doctor's appointment went into her nap time, so by the time we were home, she was spent. So she should hopefully take a good long nap now. And I only had a little snack on the way to the hospital because I just needed to eat something, but it was kind of too early for me to like really be hungry. Now I'm hungry for like real breakfast. So I decided to do pigs in a blanket. <laughs> I haven't had them in years, I think, and so I decided I'm gonna make them and I'll cut them into little pieces and share them with Everly too, so that's what I'm working on now. And now we wait, impatiently. Yes. Well, this is pretty much exactly what I was dreaming of, except this guy <laughs> couldn't keep it together. I guess I didn't roll it tight enough. But the rest of them look really good. So Everly woke up really happy from her nap, and I thought this would be a fantastic time to take her nine-month photos, right? <laughs> These photos really do get harder to take with age. Is that right? I know! <laughs> they were so much easier to take when you couldn't move. <laughs> so I got out a rattle to try to get her attention and like shake it above the camera. Well, now she wanted the rattle. So I gave her the rattle and then of course it's in her face. She's turned around, she's crawling away. So I'm not even sure we got any cute pictures. If we did, I'll put them in here. I don't know. said her appointment was perfect she's developing properly all of her percentages were great I had asked if I needed to decrease her fluid ounces because she was getting table food now and she said no to keep everything just the same because her percentages are great so just this week she has started to wave and try to clap and it's both so cute I don't know if she'll do it in the vlog this time or next time but when she does it's super cute <laughs> so I actually got her this 
storage organization thing. Somebody was selling it here on base for like $10 or $15, I think, and the colors are really cute. So I put her books in it and stuffed animals. These are blocks that our friend Kim gave to us. And then down here in the ones she can reach, we just have the balls from her ball pit and then some of her toys that are upstairs. Most of her toys are downstairs. And strangely enough, when she has all those toys to play with, she usually pulls out her shoe bin and wants to just play with her shoes instead. Babies, what are you gonna do? Did you want to clap? Yay! Yay, she's trying to clap for her food. She has some pig in a blanket, some little yogurt drops. And then I have eggs and cherries that I'm sharing with her. I already got cherry on her shirt, and so you'll notice she's <laughs> eaten naked. <laughs> She'll put clothes on afterwards, because I had to put some spray and wash on the cherry stain. Yay! Yay! <laughs> So fun! Yay! <laughs> oh, you're adorable. Can you wave too? Hi! Hi! No, I just want to clap. Okay. This is one of those suction plates that's supposed to stick to the table, but my little Houdini baby has figured out how to push and pull it. Mm-hmm. Like that. So sometimes I have to push it back down in the middle to make it <laughs> stay suctioned. It mostly doesn't flip onto her belly, which is nice. So lately, Everly has been loving this hallway, crawling down it. To the left is the stairs, to the right is the bathroom. <laughs> I just vacuumed, so I'm gonna let her go, even though she's in a sleeper. I have started baby-proofing all the plugs that she can reach. Go, go, go! Uh-huh. Do it! She is able to climb some of the stairs. I really don't like it because it makes me nervous and I have to be right behind her, but she's capable. Yeah. So we made friends with someone else who has the same floor plan house on the same base. And she, instead of a baby gate here, she has it right there so that the baby can't come down this hallway into the bathroom or the front door area. So that's something else I've thought about. And that way the living room, dining room, kitchen she can get to, but this hallway and the stairs she can't. Girl. And this is why she doesn't need to have access to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, it is almost time for this little lady to go get a bath and go to bed. But before we do, we're going to brush her one tooth. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Brush up, brush up, brush up. So she mostly just wants to lick off the toothpaste, but I actually do my best to get the tooth. <laughs> It's like a fruit flavored kids toothpaste and uh, she likes it, so that's good. We are about ready to go give this little lady a bath and put her to bed. I can't believe you're nine months old, baby. There are some moms in my mom groups that are already very deep into the planning of their baby's first birthday party. Mm -hmm. We were talking about it at brunch the other day and somebody was like, well, what are your ideas, your themes, your colors? Girl, <laughs> I don't know that we're even gonna have a birthday party for her. It doesn't really make sense considering we only know like five people here. Something to think about now that she's three months away from turning a year old. That's so crazy. She's three fourths of the way to a year. That's crazy. It feels like you were just born yesterday. All right, she's clearly tired. I'm gonna go bathe her and put her down. Everly went down super easy. She was very tired. <laughs> And now it's some mommy time. I think I'm gonna make a bowl of ice cream and watch My Guilty Pleasure. Yep, that's right. I like The Bachelorette. If you guys watch it, who do you like? I used to really like Jed, but I think I heard there's some drama about him. And um, I like Peter, I like Tyler. I really liked Mike and Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the one from a week ago, a week and a half ago, she sent him home. Somebody I'm friends with said, oh, he should be the next Bachelor. And I kind of like that idea. I think he's really sweet. So anyway, this is where I'm gonna end the night. I'm just gonna have ice cream, watch my show, and then go to bed. So thanks for coming along. I can't believe she's nine months old. It's just crazy to me, honestly. People say, you know, when you have kids, like cherish every moment because the time goes by so quickly. And I get it now. I still just can't believe that she's as old and as big and as capable as she is. It's awesome to watch her grow and discover new things and 
I mean, even just learning to clap or say hi, like it's cute and I'm really enjoying those moments. I'm trying to capture all that I can on photo and video to send to Nelly, but you know, she's missing things. She knows she's missing things. So for those of you who are praying for Nelly and sending your well wishes and your love, thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, she's doing well. She misses Everly and she misses me and the kids and you know, life but she's doing well. She's learning a lot uh, for her job and she's part of a bigger mission. So it's good. Okay, I'm gonna go watch my show. Bye guys.